Within the past decade, the global automotive industry has witnessed remarkable and rapid advancements. Petrol and diesel-powered vehicles have become outdated, replaced by a new race among automotive giants to manufacture eco-friendly cars. While the introduction of electric and solar-powered cars a few years ago was considered a breakthrough, they are no longer novelties. Renowned automaker Toyota has taken eco-friendly technology to a new level with the introduction of an engine that runs on a perpetual, non-depleting resource. This new technology from Toyota is predicted to disrupt the entire electric car industry worldwide. In this video, we will explore what this technology is, how it works, and its potential implications. However, before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It is well known that the Earth is facing significant environmental challenges. The transportation industry is estimated to be responsible for up to 15% of global carbon emissions. The root cause lies in the internal combustion engines used by transportation companies, which rely on traditional fossil fuels such as gasoline and diesel. If emissions are not reduced, a bleak future is inevitable for humanity. Furthermore, the automotive industry has a crucial role to play in addressing climate change and mitigating its effects. The transition to sustainable mobility is no longer an option, it is a necessity. And Toyota's groundbreaking technology with a perpetual fuel source could be a game-changer in this regard. To combat environmental pollution, renowned global automakers have shifted their focus towards electric vehicle EV, production, considering it a crucial, if not existential, strategy for their future. Tesla, the leading EV manufacturer in the United States, has proven the correctness of this approach by rapidly expanding its EV presence across the country. Following Tesla's lead, other automakers are also transitioning their technology. Some have reduced the production of gasoline-powered vehicles and gradually shifted to EVs, while others have completely converted to this new technology. According to the International Energy Agency, although EVs still represent a small fraction of vehicles on the road, global EV registrations increased by 41% in 2020, even as the overall car market declined by nearly one-sixth. Toyota, however, has chosen a different path. Since 1997, the company has been phasing out fossil fuel-powered vehicles and focusing on environmentally friendly alternatives. At the time, it was speculated that Toyota was planning a rather unconventional vehicle. This speculation was confirmed in 2014 when the Toyota Mirai was unveiled to the public. The world was surprised to learn that it was powered by hydrogen. Toyota has since made no secret of its strategy to achieve carbon neutrality through the development of hydrogen fuel cell technology. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles offer several advantages over EVs. They have a longer range, can be refueled more quickly, and produce zero emissions. Additionally, hydrogen fuel can be produced from a variety of sources, including renewable energy, making it a more sustainable option than fossil fuels. However, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles also face some challenges. The infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is still in its early stages of development, and the cost of hydrogen fuel is currently higher than gasoline or electricity. Additionally, there are concerns about the safety of hydrogen storage and transportation. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe and possesses the highest energy content per unit mass of any non-nuclear energy source. In theory, if produced using only renewable energy sources, hydrogen can be a 100% green fuel, emitting no harmful pollutants and producing no toxic byproducts. Additionally, it can be generated from a variety of sources, stored indefinitely, and transported easily. Millions of tons of hydrogen are safely produced and used every year, and it is already widely used in buildings, forklifts, electric vehicles, ships, and trains. The principle behind hydrogen fuel cell vehicles is relatively simple. The fuel cell converts hydrogen into electricity, which powers the vehicle's electric motor. It may seem like magic, but it is based on science. Since Toyota unveiled its roadmap for hydrogen fuel cell research and development, many other automakers have joined the race. For example, German automaker BMW introduced the 750HL in 2002, followed by the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. However, there are some drawbacks to using hydrogen in vehicles. It is highly flammable, and even a small spark near a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle can cause an explosion. Unlike gasoline, which requires a collision to ignite, hydrogen can be ignited by a spark without any physical impact. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles have been touted as a promising alternative to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. However, safety concerns have been raised about the flammability of hydrogen. Additionally, the production of hydrogen can release nitrogen oxides, which are considered pollutants. 
Hydrogen is highly flammable and can ignite easily if exposed to a spark or flame. This raises concerns about the safety of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in the event of an accident. Additionally, the production of hydrogen can release nitrogen oxides, which are harmful to the environment. The Toyota Mirai, one of the first hydrogen fuel cell vehicles to be released to the public, also faced safety concerns. The Mirai uses a fuel cell to convert hydrogen into electricity, which powers the vehicle's electric motor. However, the Mirai also produces small amounts of nitrogen oxides during the hydrogen conversion process. Despite the safety concerns, Toyota has continued to develop hydrogen fuel cell technology. Recently, the company unveiled a prototype vehicle called the Corolla Cross H2. This vehicle uses a hydrogen-fueled internal combustion engine, which is different from the fuel cell technology used in the Mirai. The Corolla Cross H2 is equipped with a hydrogen injection system that delivers hydrogen to the combustion chamber. The hydrogen is mixed with air and a catalyst in the combustion chamber, where it ignites. The combustion of hydrogen creates heat, which drives the pistons and generates power. The engine's power is then converted into electricity by a generator, which provides energy for the vehicle's electrical systems and motor. Toyota's hydrogen-fueled internal combustion engine could offer several advantages over traditional gasoline-powered engines. Hydrogen is a cleaner burning fuel, producing no tailpipe emissions. Additionally, hydrogen-fueled engines can be more efficient than gasoline-powered engines. One notable feature of the Corolla Cross H2 is its use of thick, bulletproof fuel tanks to store hydrogen. This ensures safety when using such a flammable material. Crucially, Toyota's hydrogen-fueled internal combustion engine does not emit any carbon dioxide or other pollutants. The only byproduct of hydrogen combustion is water, making it an environmentally friendly choice. It is estimated that with just 5 kilograms of hydrogen, the car can travel up to 300 kilometers, and the only thing it emits is 50 liters of water. Remarkably clean, isn't it? Toyota is also working with Yamaha Motor to develop a hydrogen-powered V8 engine. This engine is expected to increase the horsepower of their vehicles. They also expect these new engine-powered vehicles to have a longer range and refuel faster than electric vehicles. While the latest electric vehicles have a charging speed of 5 minutes for a full charge, Toyota expects their charging time to be only 90 seconds. Incredible, isn't it? Experts predict that when Toyota's new technology is fully developed and mass-produced, it will mark the end of the gasoline-powered car industry and disrupt the entire global electric car industry. However, the new technology still needs to undergo further research and testing before it can be mass-produced. It is not yet feasible for developing countries or poor countries because it will undoubtedly be very expensive. Not everyone can afford to buy it. Look no further than the United States. Since the first electric Tesla Roadster appeared in 2008, the US government has offered various incentives for electric cars. However, according to statistics from the United States Department of Energy at the end of 2021, electric vehicles only accounted for about 2% of the total number of vehicles registered and operating on the road in the US. While Toyota's new technology shows great promise, it still has a long way to go before it can become a mainstream alternative to gasoline-powered and electric vehicles. The infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is still in its early stages of development, and the cost of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles is currently prohibitive for many consumers. In the meantime, electric vehicles will continue to play a significant role in the transition to sustainable transportation. Electric vehicles have already made significant progress in terms of range, performance, and affordability. As battery technology continues to improve, electric vehicles will become even more competitive with gasoline-powered and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Ultimately, the future of transportation will likely involve a mix of different clean energy vehicles. Electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles both have their own advantages and disadvantages, and the best choice for a particular individual or application will depend on a variety of factors. The development of clean energy vehicles is a critical step in addressing climate change and improving air quality. Both electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles have the potential to play a significant role in this transition. As these technologies continue to develop and improve, we can expect to see a wider variety of clean energy vehicles on the road in the years to come. And that's the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to soon receive the latest information about cars.